Hello, my dear comrades. You saw that sexy montage in the beginning? Yeah, it's very sexy. So today I'm bringing you a video, a Battlefield 3 gameplay, Jet gameplay, as you'll see in a couple of seconds that I sometimes struggle to hit targets, because I'm not a very good pilot. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, I actually wanted to talk about the PC that I assembled five months ago and what I think about it. So overall it's a very good build. Right now I'm playing Battlefield 3 on high settings. I get about 50-60 frames on average. Uh, everything high except shadows, they're on ultra. And I play in 720p resolution. And with Fraps recording, I get about 30, 40 frames, 40, 35 frames. So it's pretty decent to record stuff. As you can see, I'm recording full screen, not half screen. And the frame rate is still pretty good. I didn't really do any overclocking. Well, at first I wanted to overclock my CPU, but the result a little problem with my uh, aftermarket cooler. The motherboard for some re reason cranked up the fans to 100, 100% and I tried adjusting it manually and there I just crashed in, into a jet and survived. God bless Battlefield. So back to the topic. The motherboard kept uh, cranking up the fans to 100% and I tried to adjust the fan speeds manually and still they were spitting kind of fast so I just installed the stock Intel fan but as far as I know the 2500k over overclocks really good but but I don't think it's a necessity because if you want your games to run smoother you should probably get a better GPU and as far as the 560 Ti goes it's a pretty good GPU I mean if you SLI to 560s, you could probably max out Battlefield 3. Right now, Battlefield 3 is like one of the only decent games by which you can benchmark graphics, I guess. I mean, I played some Mass Effect 3 and it's a great game, great series, but the, the graphics aren't really fresh anymore. So you might notice that my game is in Russian. That's because I really speak Russian and some of you thought that I wasn't Russian, that I was faking the Russian accent. And well, actually I did fake this accent because I don't speak like this every day. I have never seen a Russian that actually speaks with this accent every day. Well, except FPS Russia, but I think he only speaks like this in his videos. In the intro, you might have saw that I have an antic. 300 case. Actually, at first I wanted to get a NZXT Gamma case because it was a little bit cheaper and it has black interior and cable management holes. The Antec case has a gray interior which is bleh and uh, it doesn't have any cable management holes which is a big minus. But the cooling is decent. There's a fan on top which I actually uh, disabled because it was a, a little bit louder than all the other fans. There's a fan in, at the back and I installed one fan in the front. I think the cooling is decent. And because I installed the fan in the front, the dust really builds up in the front grill. But it's actually really easy to clean. You just take out this front panel, blow all the dust off. There's like a filter in the front which keeps the dust from, from your computer inside. So if I have to rate this case, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. Just because it, does, it doesn't have any cable management, real cable management solutions. And because of its gray interior, which is really weird solution. The rest of the case is painted black. And they, for some reason, decided to paint the insides gray. Just why? Why? I didn't really use any of the new signature stuff 
because I don't really see the point in using the onboard GPU and the additional GPU. I'm not really encoding stuff. So I'll just use my 560 Ti all the time. And that SSD caching technology. Yeah, I'm, I don't even have an SSD, so I didn't use that either. So yeah, and right there we saw the awesome heat seekers that are completely broken after the patch. I shouldn't have even bothered to use my flares. I mean, come on, dice, really? MSI Afterburner is a really good application for overclocking. I didn't really use it for overclocking, but you can monitor your temperature, GPU usage, fan speeds, and etc. Really handy and easy to use. And here I crash into a tree and keep flying. Seems legit. The RAM, well, the RAM is okay, obviously. Eight gigs and eight gigabytes is enough for gaming. I mean, I, I sometimes edit videos, large videos. If you want to do some serious uh, high definition video editing, you should probably go for 16 or 32 gigabytes. So, was the game? comes to an end, I for some reason explode and I'll see you later, I think, I don't know, probably not, never mind, goodbye.